Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon episode random... Fuck! Oh my god, I butchered that intro. Damn it. Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Randomized. Last time, we were going to use this basement key, and now we will do that in this episode. I used the basement key, the door opened. Thanks for watching everyone, that is the end of the episode. Awesome, goodbye. That was a 20 second episode. Alright, so we have a really shitty puzzle that you have to go through. Let's see what we get in here though. Actually, this could be interesting. Uh, a star you. Huh. That's... Okay, that was... Sometimes the animations are really awkwardly long and it's really goddamn annoying. I'm just gonna do... Why can't I escape from anything? Like, come on. Okay, alright. Okay. Sure. Huh. So. While we are getting destroyed by a star you apparently... I'm gonna talk about something that I found out. There is going to be uh, released in 2013 sometime a standalone uh, EXE file type of uh, game, Pokemon game. Uh, it's being it's it's fan made, and I apparently I'm friends with one of the guys on the the, the dev team. Uh, one of the programs. I don't know much about it, but it's Pokemon Topaz. So there's already a hack about it called Pokemon Topaz, but this is different. This is its own game, pretty much, and it looks really interesting. I'm. It looks really great. The uh, the game itself is gonna be released in 2013, as I said before. You don't need. You, it won't run through an emulator. It's its own file, essentially. So I'm. Hopefully gonna be able to record it whenever it comes out and the thing is <sighs> um, You should seriously go click on the link. It's in the description there. Uh, I think it's a God damn it <laughs> Fuck I hate repels Son of a bitch uh, uh, But you should I would highly recommend you go click on the link and just look at the game because it sprites itself, sprites in and of themselves are amazing looking. They they look pretty much professionally made. Uh, and it's gonna be free as far as I know too. This is a really shitty like, hey, listen to this game that I'm talking about. That's really cool. I believe there's stuff in some of these. Uh, apparently not. Um, now usually these are, oh, I'm an escape room. You'll, uh, yeah, but anyways, go, go look at Pokemon Topaz, it's just fucking bitching. Yay. Uh, usually you'll encounter some Electrode in here also, as something, I believe this is going to be one. Yep, this is an Electrode, or Voltorb, whatever you want it to be. Voltorb, there you go. The thing looks fucking giant. I don't know why it would be like you know. That's a pretty terrible matchup. Holy crap! Let's bring on McMillan. McMillan, do some work. I don't remember what you get for. I think you get uh, Thunderbolt for doing this. Oh, here we go. Screw you. Screw you to the max. And actually, I want to check something. Ah, uh, what is this thing's name? Oh, shit. When? Okay, wow, level 35? Fuck. I don't want to, I don't want to have to wait until level 35. Oh, wait, that's only like a few more levels. Good. What's this? That is nothing at all. To that. Go up here. Ah, fucking damn it. Thank God, or rather, thank you, Pokemon Emerald, for not having some kind of stupid that. Yes, yeah, electric. I'm really happy I don't have to deal with fucking Watson and his level 100 Luxray. Remember that in Pokemon Snakewood? That was a terrible time. That was just awful. I'm ah, God, it hurts to think about. Huh. 
I accidentally just muted my mic there for a second. Well, that's slightly awkward. Anyways. Um, if you want to get into playing Pokemon hacks, I would highly recommend... Well, I've already talked about this multiple times. I'm just kind of like a broken record. Uh, you definitely should play a shitty hack first so you can know what a shitty hack feels like to play. For example, Chaos Black, which is the first hack I ever played, is god awful. I was told, like, I read, I'd done some research on it, and it, I was told, oh, this is actually a pretty good hack. No, it's not. I don't know if that was just because I got unlucky with the ROM I have, or the ROM I got out of it. Uh, because, like, ha after the first two gyms, nothing was different. There was no change to the game. Whoa. Frame rate drop. Holy hell. And if you come back down here, this is just the beginning area again. So, let's slap another rappel on my ass and continue on our way. Ugh. Yeah, so, apparently I can mute my mic whenever I want. I can just be talking. Just then, like, come back in, like that, see? It's like, what? No way. And then I saw two things. Usually the one that you have to go to is the one that... Fucking come on! It's like I tur I literally didn't even move from the square. And I got attacked by a jerk. Now, speaking of hacks, um, anyways, don't play Chaos Black first. That's a really shitty hack. And then, oh, apparently, you know, uh, um, Chaos Black is shitty. A hack like Quartz is really well done, in my opinion. I've done three hacks so far. I've played numerous others. Um, Pokemon Snakewood has so far been my favorite. Even though I got severely annoyed by it many a time, it still brought out some e emotion e emotions in me. Like, oh, that really sucks. Or like, oh, I really f I feel bad for the God damn it. I feel bad for that character. But, you know, uh, I, I never finished the game, unfortunately. I hate to say, uh, you guys know if anyone's seen that Let's Play. Because my game glitched, and I couldn't actually finish it. And I don't want that to become a thing. God! Alright, well, I'm going to end this game here. Goodbye.